Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Sketches School, which is the app in the bottom row there with the blue pen. Uh, great little drawing app and has some excellent sort of applications for classwork as well. So let's open it up. Uh, first of all, you're going to see you have different folders. You can sort of scroll horizontally between. Maybe even start by looking at the Sketch tool. So if we just select that folder and open it up, and you can sort of just go through each particular tool and gives you a little example of what that pen does. Uh, it's great for students to come back and have a little look at uh, what they could do with the watercolor or an airbrush, for example. So we just put close in the top right hand corner. Um, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go into our sketches folder. If I can create my own folders if I want to, and just by pushing on the, uh, the, the name there, I can go in and change the title of the folder. In this case, I'm just going to select the orange part and we'll open up some of the uh, drawings I've already, already done. So I'm going to push the plus on the top left just to start a new drawing. Here we go. So down the left-hand side, you'll see all the tools. Uh, on the right-hand side, you're going to see the color palette uh, and also you're going to see the thickness of the brush. So let's sort of start with something pretty thick. So pencil at the top, nice and easy. Go for a little thin marker pen, felt pen, so you can change the color. And it's a good way initially just to let students sort of have a little bit of a play to get an idea of what, how, uh, how to use the app and where the different tools are. One there. I really like this one because it's like it's watercolor and you can go and the, the harder you, uh, when you keep going back over the same spot, it, it sort of deepens the color. Great little blurring features. This is a, a favorite of students too. It's the, um, it's a, like a little spray gun. You can get letters and uh, some different fonts and also some shapes. You can put a shape in there, move around. Now you'll notice too that you'll see here that the tools went away then. So if I sort of, um, I can flick that um, toolbar on the left to the side. Flick it off. Like that, and then I can bring it back in again as well. Takes a little bit of practice, but they'll get the idea. Um, this is our um, our paint roller. So if I do if I complete a circle, it will just complete that circle there. So this sort of app is just fantastic for illustrating stories. You can save it as an, an image, uh, and then go and put it in a book or ad or pages or something like that. There's our our uh, our eraser. This is a fantastic one too. This is a blur tool. You just keep scrubbing and it blurs this way. Here we can cut something out and then move it around. And the last one is also a little virtual ruler where I can just rule along that. Along that type of thing. So if we uh, in, uh, were to make a mistake, there's an undo button in the top left-hand corner. You see that little curly arrow, we can go back, undo. And the three little dots at the top, they then allow us to um, export an image. So we can push the export button and go save image, which then goes to our photo library. We can also bring a import a photo in or use the camera to take a photo of something in class and then annotate and draw over the top. Um, and also there's, um, there's a couple of tools you can explore as well. On the very right hand corner is a screencasting tool. So that records a video of what the students are doing and fantastic for doing the last sort of self-made tutorials in maths about students explaining their, um, their thinking. But I'll do another video um, for that in itself. Uh, to close the app, all you need to do is just do a two-finger pinch, flicks down, and there we go. So there's a little overview of Sketch of School. Uh, I know your kids are going to have fun um, having, a, having a play.